banana. This should be in the compost. I will put it there. What? The? What? What happened? That cost that yeah, quite in here. You, you look lost in yeah. thought. Oh, hi, Dave. How you doing? Uh, good, thanks. I'm what doing, doing some research into full cost accounting. Ooh, I've heard of that, and it sounds like a big deal. What is it? Well, it is complex, but basically, it's a system where you take into account every event that went into a product or service and actually attach a price to it. Sounds big. I'm going to sit down. Yeah, you better sit down. Okay. Now, the whole purpose behind full cost accounting was to somehow reflect the true environmental costs of a product in the price. Well, how would that work? Well, let's take a classic example, the automobile. Okay, I have one. Okay. Now, we know the direct costs of an automobile. You got the raw materials. You got to buy steel. You got the production. You got to pay people. You got the distribution. You got to... Get the cars to places where people can buy them. Ah, okay. And you got promotion. Right, and I hear that they pay a lot of money to produce and play those car ads, especially during a football game or something. It costs a lot of money. Right, but I pay for that. I know that when I buy the car. I paid for all of that stuff, so what's the big deal? But you didn't necessarily pay for the indirect costs. Hmm, emissions. Okay, so that's my tailpipe, like uh, stuff that comes out of my tailpipe. Right, carbon dioxide and ground level ozone, which contributes to smog and health right. problems. How do you put a dollar value on that? Uh, hmm, I'm not sure, actually. Oh. Well, what about the emissions from the factory, too? Do you factor those in? Yeah, and the plant that generated the electricity that the production plant that makes the car uses. Oh, well, wait a minute. If you're going to take all that into account, it gets too complicated. Let's move on to another point. Uh, support. Okay. Well, you got to make roads for the cars to drive on. You have yeah. to repair the roads. Okay, well, that's easy. To, you know the cost of that. Well, yeah, well wait a minute. That you're uh, using trucks to build those roads that also have emissions. Do you take that into account? Uh, I guess you have to. And there's and also police and, and, and ambulance and... Oh, and you have to pay the people who make the roads. Yeah. No, oh, that's too complicated. Move on. Uh, land use. Okay. What's well, you need that? land for the plant that makes the cars. Yeah. And you also need land for people to park the cars on. What's the cost there, though? Well, you know, trees could have been growing on that land. So if you think about it, a plant's on the land for 60 years. At 60 years, the trees could have been on there absorbing carbon dioxide. Oh, so they could have taken some dollar figure off the carbon dioxide emissions if they had the trees, but they didn't because the plant was there. Right. Well, well, you can't put a dollar value on that. That's too complicated. Move on. Uh, gone forevers. Uh, what are those? Those are the non-renewable resources that you need to run the automobiles that come from some place where you have to transport in a tanker that may break and, uh, you know, environmental problems connected with oh, that. Oh, so there's the environmental thing. But how do you put a cost on, say, I know how you put a cost on a gallon of oil, but how do you put a, ga a cost on a gallon of oil that's no longer there? I'm not uh, sure, actually. Maybe they, we better move on to yeah. the next point. Uh, human resources. Okay. Well, you, you got people who are putting their time and brain power into developing these cars and all the infrastructure. They could be spending their time on something else a little more constructive. Oh, you mean like if they weren't making cars, they could be working on curing cancer? Something like so, that. Something like that. But, but if they made people live longer instead of making cars, then there'd be more people throwing out garbage and using up resources. So how do you put a cost on that? So this, so this is full cost accounting, is it? Well, doesn't it, sound like it adds up to me. Well, look good on paper, Dave. 